we will talk about quorums. Quorums is a concept that is used in the implementation of many fault-tolerant distributed algorithms. So many algorithms do not rely on failure detector, especially for uh, asynchronous systems where uh, you basically cannot, there is no failure detector. So for an end crash stop process abstraction, a quorum is any set of majority of processes. So it is a set with at least the floor of n, half of n, plus one processes. For example, if n is equal to 5, then divided by 2 plus 1 is the quorum. So this is 2, and that gives us 2 plus 1, which is 3. The quorum, if n is equal to 5, the quorum is three processes, any set of three processes. If n is equal to six, then we have six divided by two, the floor of that, plus one, which is equal to, of course, three, plus one, which is four processes. Some algorithm will work, satisfying both safety and liveness, only if a quorum of correct processes can be established. Okay, the algorithm relies then on a majority of processes will not fail. If not, if we cannot establish a set of a quorum of a, a set of correct processes, quorum of correct processes, then uh, Normally, liveness will not be satisfied, but we still satisfy safety in these algorithms. To achieve this, we need the quorum such that f, the number of faulty processes, should be less than the majority of um, processes in the system. And f is called the resilience of the algorithm. So let us look now to the scratch stop model of quorums, where we assume that f should be at most less than half of the number of uh, processes in the system. Then we will get, uh, given that, we will get a number of interesting properties. The first property is that two quorums always intersect in at least one process. Because a quorum has a majority more than half, then two quorums must always intersect. Therefore, the quorum intersects in one process. This could be a correct process or a faulty process. In this case, this picture shows an intersection in a faulty process. Another property is that there is at least one quorum with only correct processes. So this property is quite often established. Here we can see a situation where one quorum is only a quorum of correct uh, processes. A third property is that there is at least one correct process in each quorum. At least one correct process in each quorum. Here is a situation because f is less than half of n, then there will be at least one correct process in each curve. These three properties are always exploited in algorithm that relies on core. And we will see that uh, in the abstraction that we are going to implement uh, in the next lectures. So quorums are used mainly in the fail-silent 
algorithms, algorithms that do not rely in, on failure detector and, and assume an asynchronous system, and also on some of the algorithms for the failed noisy uh, systems, which basically a partially synchronous system. In most of these algorithms, a process will never wait for messages from more than n divided by 2, the floor of that, plus 1 processes. Because waiting more than that, the process might hang forever because the rest could be faulty processes. <laughs>